Today is a really crucial day for the whole crypto market and especially Bitcoin because we will get a Fed announcement from um, Jerome Powell that could make or break it for the next Bitcoin move here to the upside or potentially to the downside. And that is something that we have to talk about, about all the targets, about the strategy that I'm playing here based on that announcement because the market will make a decision and if you want to find out what i'm going to do how i prepare myself then definitely stick around here and watch the video until the end and subscribe to this channel like this video and also activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these important updates and now let's directly go here into today's charts so here on the four hourly chart um, as expected uh, we were breaking down a little bit out of that diamond pattern but there was no not a really huge volume supported move right now and we are still kind of clinging on the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level at $22,300. Uh, we got supported there when we broke down uh, from the diamond pattern and now we see a small push to the upside again on the 4 hourly chart but still no volume there breaking out out of this a downtrend that we are seeing here and until then i'm right now doing nothing nothing i need a decisive move to make a decision to take a long position here or to take a short position and until then i'm literally doing absolutely nothing so when will i take a long or a short position so i believe that uh, with the announcement coming out that if it goes south and we move you to the downside there i have already orders placed at twenty one thousand seven hundred dollars uh, a limit order to buy here a long position because if we go all the way down here oh sorry wrong tool then i can take a long position and i believe so now i have to scroll up a little bit you can see it that we will exceed the prior highs that we have and I will target at least $26,000 and all the way down here, let's say here, would be my stop loss for this uh, long trade that we can potentially take here. So, um, and when you look at the risk to reward ratio, that is absolutely insane. That is a really juicy trade that we can take here. So and when we look now um, percentage wise how much we could make on this move then you see we make it up to close to 20% to the upside and I have a downside risk of hitting my stop loss of just 2.2%. So there is um, a 1 to 10 risk to reward ratio on this trade which makes it of course really really lucrative to take this trade so now if we would break further down from that level then of course i gonna flip and i will take a short position so here my stop loss would be a little bit higher and then i would target all the way down here into the nineteen thousand dollar range and then percentage wise we would be looking at almost a 12% move that we can bank on. So, and don't get me wrong, if we go down there, I'm closing my long position, either the hits take profit, or um, I'm gonna close it manually and flip then into a long position from there. So, and when we look then here, percentage-wise, the risk that we are taking, it's close to three percent so that is a four to uh, yeah one to four risk to reward ratio more or less and that is also absolutely fine so but we have to wait for the announcement to see where we are heading to um and uh depending on how volatile that move is uh, we can then make a decision if we either enter into a long position or into a short position but it is really really important um to now watch the charts to see what's happening here um, today because I really, really believe that we will see a volatile move today here in the market. So of course because 
my entry for the short position is also my entry for a long position. I'm going to hatch that. I will open both positions. And then when I see in which direction we are going, I close then the other position depending on the direction which we are, which we are going so that I have a small loss on the one side and make all the profit on the other side. So also when we are looking here on the daily chart, I have here um, the daily pivots. Also here you can clearly see where we have right now resistance. So the resistance is here at $24,370. Uh, there it's basically sitting all the way up to $25,200, but that is something that we knew already. And then here on uh, the support range, we are exactly close to the golden ratio that I was talking about. So that goes from 21,500 all the way down to 21,200. So that's why I'm targeting this range for a potential long or short position to see where we are going. So if you are a risk adverse trader and you want to enter before that, then of course you can do that. Once we are breaking here, this convergence of this upward sloping support line where we are sitting on right now and this falling wedge, which normally should uh, have a bullish breakout because it's um, biased bullish. So, but three out of 10 times, they are actually also breaking to the downside. So the only thing that uh, makes me quite bullish here on the daily chart is that we have a, um, a hidden bullish divergence where the price is going here higher and the RSI is trending lower. So at some point we will see a big, big move big to the upside and it could come from this range down here. And that's why I lean a little bit more to the bullish side when we get there than to the bearish side. So, but depending on um, how the gods of the markets are deciding, uh, we could actually also uh, go a little bit lower and we have to see what's going to uh, happen here because we have also here um, then another underlying support, more or less here at the same range. Um, here at 18,500 and 80,100 but I don't believe that we will get this low because also above here close to $20,000 all the way down to 90,200 there's also an area of support that we could bounce off and that is coming from this uh, pivot point here so um, but still I want to uh, be clear on that. I still believe there is a bullish outcome here. So we just can take advantage of the first move down before we then flip bullish and go to the upside. Also because the stochastic RSI is highly oversold and uh, we should also see uh, a bounce in conjunction uh, with the hidden bullish divergence that we are seeing here on the daily chart. So, and don't forget guys, if you want to trade this, do this on Bybit. They still have $30,000 up for grasp if you sign up with my link here and on BitGet $20,000 also only with my link here. And if you want to take these kind of trades with me in real time, then join my free Telegram channel. I gonna post there this specific legendary trade that I want to open there um, to the upside uh, into higher targets absolutely for free. Just join the Telegram group in the um, description and in the pinned comment of this video below. So then also here on the one hourly chart, we see that we have here some sort of um, a triangle where we are bouncing up and down to. So and that is, of course, uh, confirmed uh, clear support uh, over here, there, here, there, here and also here and then um, the resistance coming in from here, there, there, uh, sorry, no, I missed it. And also there. So, and we are getting also really close to the apex of it. By tomorrow morning, we will be at this apex, but you see the stochastic arrows is losing already momentum and wants to roll over, which is an indication that we might see here um, in the next two hours, a break to the downside. And um, that's what I'm, like I said, already uh, waiting for to see that happen so that my long position can get filled and I trade this to the upside with a short hatch, of course. So also here on this four hourly chart, uh, there's not much change. The uh, stochastic RSI is also still trending down. This can still go on for 
um, another eight hours until we hit the bottom. And in these eight hours, we could actually see this move here to 21,000, uh, 521,750 um, or $800 around that range. And because the bears are still in control here on the VPVR, we can see it. The point of control has not changed. It's still at $22,900 approximately. And we are trading um, underneath the EMA ribbon, uh, which is of course confirming that we are still here in, uh, for now in a downtrend. But don't get me wrong, I still believe um, the area of $28,600 to $29,000 is still acting as a magnet um, in the mid to long term. And we definitely gonna see uh, Bitcoin uh, hitting this specific price level guys that's it already for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it uh, please make sure that you smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll see you then again in the next one